If you're asked to simplify the fraction one over one, here's how you can do that. We're looking for another fraction that is equivalent. It has the same value as one over one. It's just that we've simplified or reduced it. But when we look at one over one, we want to know how many times one can be divided into one. So this is one divided by one. And one divided by one, that's just one. So in answer to our question, the fraction one over one equals this whole number one. And if you think about it, any number divided by itself, almost any number, will equal one. Say 33 divided by 33. 33 goes into 33 one time. Or maybe with algebra, 3x over 3x, that equals one. You want to know how many times 3x goes into 3x. There is one big exception you should watch out for. You know what it is? When we have zero divided by zero, we say that that is indeterminate. Indeterminate means that it doesn't really have a definable value or a definite value. We just say it's indeterminate. But in answer to our question, our original question here, the fraction one over one, that just equals the whole number one. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.